All right, so this story is to do absolutely nothing other than further illustrate to you guys exactly how much of an absolute ghoul Kirsten Cinema, the senator from Arizona who is currently trying to block this $3.5 trillion budget reconciliation bill from being passed, actually is because we got an article here from Ken Klippenstein, which is really when I first saw the headline, I thought it was something out of the onion because it is that ridiculous. And our reality continues to spiral into an absolute parody of itself. And we have talked about on this channel multiple times of the hundreds of thousands of dollars that Kirsten, Kirsten Cinema has been accepting in corporate bribes from corporate America to go oppose various portions of this bill. She took over $700,000 from Big Pharma to go oppose lowering prescription drug prices. So her ghoulish limits know no bounds. And she is trying to apparently, according to this article, pass those ghoulish ideals onto the next generations as Kirsten Cinema is literally teaching a course on fundraising at Arizona State University. So let's read some of the details here. All students hope to learn from top experts in their field and graduate students at Arizona State University have an unusual opportunity this fall to do just that. Where Kirsten Cinema, the Democrat from Arizona, is teaching a course on getting rich people to give you money, right? That is her absolute specialty, okay? Again, hundreds of thousands of dollars pouring into her campaign, uh, her campaign coffers, uh, even though she is not in an election year. They are funneling money into this, uh, this senator's campaign uh, to try to basically bribe her to oppose various portions of this bill. She has no actual arguments. That's why she has not been coming out and publicly arguing against lowering prescription drug prices. It's because she literally ran on that in 2018. And she is now, because of the money that she has been completely swamped and drenched with, uh, is now turning around and opposing some of the most popular portions of this 3.5 trillion dollar reconciliation bill and again now teaching a course at the school that she was confronted at the other day by those protesters who had uh, serious uh, problems with some of her immigration policies that she has been supporting or failing to support and honestly I think those protesters who confronted her in the bathroom maybe didn't go far enough because she was at the school apparently teaching this course and trying to pass on these ideals to the next generation so let's go ahead and uh, read some more of the details here so the course titled Developing Grants and Fundraising is one of two classes that cinema is teaching this fall at Arizona State's University School of Social Work. The syllabus, which was attained by The Intercept, says students will, quote, learn diverse fundraising strategies for nonprofits as well as how to cultivate donors, including large individual donors, by leveraging resources like, quote, opportunistic fundraising and finding supporters for major fundraising events and, well, asking for money. So all things that Kirsten Cinema is absolutely great at doing. This has become very obvious in the last couple of months. She has been literally running around the country uh, doing this uh, cocktail circuit, circuit of uh, fundraisers with all of these corporate donors. And it's to the tune of, again, thousands and thousands of dollars that are pouring into her campaign for the sole purpose of opposing things like raising taxes on the rich and lowering prescription drug prices and uh, actually making sure that Americans can afford child uh, child care. So these are the types of things that Kirsten Cinema is opposing. And why is she opposing them? Again, because she is an absolute absolute expert at asking for money from some of the worst interests in the country. And so they continue saying the outline identifies, quote, key course concepts such as corporate giving, political strategy, influence and power, as well as uh, more socially conscious terms like discrimination, oppression and privilege. And one of the required books is fundraising for social uh, change, ironic in the light of cinema's attempts to ensure things like corporate tax rates remain unchanged. And a spokesperson for cinema, of course, did not respond to a request for comment because Kirsten Cinema literally is unaccountable to every single person person in the country other than her corporate donors. So listen, again, the entire purpose of me bringing you guys this article is because it is comical how ridiculous our country has actually become in this entire negotiation process, right? All of the policies that are within the $3.5 trillion budget reconciliation bill, first of all, they are the compromise. They are the moderate centrist compromise. Bernie Sanders, as I've told you guys repeatedly, wanted $6 trillion. He wanted to uh, expand uh, Medicare much more significantly. There were many, many policies that could have been included in the $3.5 trillion budget reconciliation bill. I mean, Bernie Sanders literally came out the other other day and he said I could go to Chuck Schumer tomorrow and say I'm not going to vote for this bill unless it includes Medicare for all he could very easily do that in the same way that Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema or on the opposite side of that, uh, in the very minority of this entire uh, situation, you have 48 senators against two senators, and they are in the minority, and yet they are coming to the table and making demands that the entire rest of the Democratic caucus falls in line with their right-wing corporate agenda. It's just completely ridiculous. And so we have to recalibrate exactly what it means to be a moderate, what it means to be a centrist. These people, Kirsten Cinema, Joe Manchin, the nine House Democrats, the 10 House Democrats who are trying to oppose this $3.5 trillion number, they are just corporate ghouls, okay? They stand for absolutely nothing other than 
experience satisfying their corporate donors. And so it's not surprising that Kirsten Cinema would be teaching a course like this. And it doesn't mean that all fundraising efforts are, uh, you know, terrible, right? It, obviously, they're probably talking about things outside of political fundraising in this class, right? They're probably talking about, like they said, raising money for nonprofits, etc. But even in the grand picture of fundraising from corporate donors, fundraising from uh, gi gigantic capitalists and profitable capitalists and wealthy uh, Americans in this country, this entire process of trying to make up for the failures of capital, uh, capitalism by relying on capitalists to donate money, this entire process of charity is a cycle in and of itself that is completely unacceptable, okay? The only reason why we need some of these major charities to tackle some of the problems we have in this country is because the government and because we as a collective society are not addressing those problems in a systemic way. Why are we not able to address those problems in a systemic way? Largely because of politicians like Kirsten Cinema. okay? There's a reason why Americans have to rely on fucking GoFundMe or they have to drive up uh, across the border to Canada to be able to afford their prescription drugs and their healthcare costs. It's because ghoulish, uh, uh, corrupt idiots like Kirsten Cinema are opposing uh, legislation like lowering prescription drug prices by allowing Medicare to negotiate with the big pharma companies. And maybe you'll slightly dig into their profits, but guess what? Americans will not continue uh, to be able to, to not be able to afford their prescription drugs. You will be saving lives. You will be saving the government hundreds of billions of dollars. So none of the policies that Kirsten Cinema is opposing in this bill uh, are justified in any way, shape, or form. The overwhelming majority of the country wants them. The overwhelming majority of the Democratic Party wants them. And even a moderate centrist, if you want to call him that, like Joe Biden, is supporting them. So again, doesn't surprise me that Kirsten Cinema is teaching a course like this, but it's really just emblematic of exactly where we are in this entire negotiation process and a broader picture, exactly where we are as a country right now. And it's not in a very great place.